hi guys, this is Adam Moss, and today I'm going to give you uh, a tutorial on how to fly an ILS approach in the Airbus X. Now first of all, uh, you will have an ILS frequency uh, towards the, uh, the runway that you're approaching. In this case it stands to the runway uh, 22. The ILS frequency is uh, 110.50. Now, uh, so you can get given that by uh, going on to uh, charts of your ILS approach and you will see the ILS frequency um, is of course uh, whatever it says now in this case. Like I said, it is 110.50. Now if we look towards at our nav display here, you can see that we will be turning around and it gives us an altitude. And that it says that we shall be at 2,500 feet uh, by that point now. What we'll do, we'll increase our descent path, slow down to uh, 180, drop down flats 1. And this is just tips um, on the iOS approach, of course. But you want to, and you know, for any landing, you are going to want the uh, aircraft configured nice and early before landing. You also want to ensure that uh, you have a nice stable. Uh, glide path and all that stuff as well. It's just good practice guys and it allows you uh, to have 2, um, a better and safer landing. As you can see the aircraft is settling off at 180. As you can see, uh, the aircraft is now making its turn, so what we want to do, click the approach hold and you should get CAT 3 dual. Now, this depends if you're going to do a single or a dual ILS approach. Basically the difference is, with a single, uh, it will not automatically return the throttles and uh, flare for you, but in a CAT 3 dual, it will. Now you do this in category 3 conditions, which it is today, which uh, basically when the weather conditions are absolutely atrocious, uh, which they of course are. And what we want to do just monitor this turn. We can't see shit out the window just now. However, that should improve later on. So the gear is down. And we'll drop it to flaps too. It's a full flaps landing configuration today. And our uh, our approach speed is 138 knots. We're going to come in at about 145. See, just making that turn by just zoom in on our instruments here and go towards them. You can see that the aircraft is steadily, the airspeed steady, altitude steady, and we're making a nice steady turn uh, so we can intercept the um, localizer. As we are now descending, I will slow the aircraft to 160, bring full flaps. Now gradually start descending towards uh, the runway, guys. And I'm going to put spoilers up, and uh, we are okay for landing. That's the basics of how to do an ILS approach. Now we just got to be wary. You can just see below us here. The weather conditions are pretty bad, so I've got the flap set. Bring the speed back to about 150. We're uh, Approaching 5 miles DME. So, fill flaps. I've set the uh, the radios. And if you just copy exactly what I do, guys, um, you will be absolutely fine. Now, our minimum descent altitude is 322 feet. You do set that here, decision height. That's basically the field elevation, and the stance that it is 322 feet. And if you just look here, this should have the number 8, and 800 feet per minute is the standard uh, descent rate when you're descending on the glide path. 1,000. 1,000 feet. 
as we get to about 1,000 feet we slow down and the aircraft should slowly but surely descend towards the, uh, the runway. ILS approaches are the most commonly used approach throughout the aviation world two, three. and that's quite understandable, they are extremely reliable and extremely safe as well. Just approaching here. Not yet got contact uh, with the uh, 500. runway at 500 feet. We can just see the runway there. So 100 above, 400. Down a little bit. 100 above minimums. Should give us minimums any second now. Minimum. Landing. Continue. 300. I chose to continue as the aircraft is stable. Keep an eye on it. The aircraft will do everything itself. It's on a Cat 3 drill. 200. Everything is looking fine. Aircraft descending 100. towards the runway. 70, 60, 50, Air 40, and 30, aircraft flaring 20. Itself. Retard, the retard, retard. And there's a slight hard landing. However, that will do, guys. And as the aircraft slowly accelerates off, there we go, 60 knots, and there we go, that's how you perform an ILS landing in the, uh, in the Airbus X. Now guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a rating, uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or, or if you have any uh, concerns to raise, I uh, do accept that I do make mistakes, I don't have a type rating in the Airbus A320. If you find this video helpful, give it a share or a like. But in the meantime, guys, for myself, uh, Adam Moss, uh, I invite you uh, to subscribe to subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.